and good morning space engineers. This is Mr. Kassarian, and today we are actually working on space engineers. We're not going to be playing with it, we're just going to be working on it. All right, so let's get started. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I know this is taking the place of my normal episodes, is because now that I'm using mods and space engineers, I know for a fact I'm going to start getting questions along the lines of, hey Kess, it's not working, I broke my game, how do I install the mods, this is so confusing, help. It's going to happen. It happened with Minecraft. It'll happen with Space Engineers. So I figured I'd get a bit of ahead of the curve and kind of do a quick tutorial on how to install mods. Because honestly, the Keen forums are terrible. Uh, not the forums, but their, their little mod page is not the best explanation in the world. So today we're actually going to be working with the AAA SE Mod Pack 704 Standard. And let's take a quick look. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get some mods, right? So we're going to go to the Keen web page. We're going to go to the forum. And we're going to go down to modding. Okay. Now, nice. Look at this. All right. We have all these fun mods. We have engineering, Shastool, you know, engineering division, which adds some really kind of cool blocks and things and stuff. And it's really cool. You have the an giant antenna thing gravity generator we have some rotor stuff blocks we have some rotors we just have some generally cool stuff but what we really want is if i can find it in here let's go back to the modding the triple a se mod pack there we go triple a se mod pack let's go back to the very beginning so we have all the mods that this is added, and we have our download links. And this is pretty simple. You click, you download, you save it. I'm assuming if you're playing Space Engineers, you know how to do that. All right. So now we've gotten our mod, and I'm not going to force you guys to sit through the entire installation process because it's kind of lengthy. Uh, the entire download is kind of lengthy. The actual mod pack is, let's see. 438 megs. That's a lot of space. That's a lot of space. Half a gig. All right. So now what are we going to do? Well, we need to install this. And to do that, we don't go to our Space Engineers folder. Do not install this into your Steam, Steam Apps, Content, Space Engineers folder. Do not install it in there. It will break your game if you do it. All right. Don't do it. Don't even open your Steam folder. We need to go to the app data directory, and on most systems, it's actually hidden by default. The easiest way to do this is to open up an explorer window like this one, click into here, and type, if I can find percent, percent app data, percent. And that takes you to your app data folder. You can see the full thing is users, my name, app data, roaming. Nice. I don't mind the fact that you guys just found out my first name. Whatever. Okay. So let's open up. We're going to go down into Space Engineers, all right? And we have this folder called Mods, okay? All we have to do is open up the AAA SE Mod Pack. We're going to come over to here. We're going to take our Mods folder. We're going to drop it into the Space Engineer, the App Data Roaming Space Engineers folder. You do not want to put it into the Mods folder. Put it down here. So if it's highlighted like this, it'll drop it into the mods folder or into the saves folder or into the screenshots folder. You don't want that. You want to merge the folders. Now it's going to start extracting, <clears throat> which you guys can see right there. It's it's chewing along merrily. And it's, it's a pretty big file. I mean, you're uncompressing about half a gig of data. All right. And you're throwing it into your Space Engineer's roaming space engineers mods folder okay the actual mods folder all right you don't you don't want to put it anywhere else you want to merge the two folders i know i've said this six times already i just want to make sure you get it right <laughs> because if you don't it's messy it's really hard to clean up okay because if you look at your mods folder in there you're gonna have a folder called content you don't want to get those folders mixed and matched because if you do, it can really kind of mess up your game. So it's going to ask you if you want to merge. You're going to click yes. I'm here. I'm going to click no. Well, I'll click yes. So it's going to merge them. Do you want to merge these folders? Do this for all? Yes. And now what it's going to do is we're going to hit move and replace. 
and it's going to pull all of those folders over. Okay. And now when you open up your mods folder, this is what you should see. Okay. All of this stuff in here. So you should see all the individual mods that are located in there. And then you have AAA mod pack, which actually has the cubeblocks.spc file in it. Okay. And then this is where it defines all of the different mod blocks that are added into the game. And you really, 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 I mean, this is, you know, this is basically where everything is defined. It's the same cubeblocks.spc file that you would have in your main folder as well. So if you want to uh, change the construction time, uh, should be over here somewhere, displaying in cubeblocks, not all seven components. Oh, I guess not. Oh, it must run it. Type Q block. Yeah, okay, so it's running it off of the um, the actual Q blocks file. Yeah, it's running the welding times based on the other files. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't know if that's true for all of them, but if you understand what I'm saying, you understand what I'm saying. It's not going to be, you know, too difficult to, to describe. Okay. So now that that's done, we have to make sure that Space Engineers is actually working properly. So we're going to open up Space Engineers. Which is just going to take a couple seconds here. And if you notice, it's set to the my recording size, so the resolution is correct for my recordings. We're going to load up our world. I'm going to load up my Let's Play world, because that's probably the easiest solution here. And once we load in, which is going to take a few minutes because it's it's Space Engineers, it's not optimized, its loading times aren't optimized yet. Uh, we're also we're going to have to, you know, kind of take care of that as time goes on, but that's all right. And it's going to chew through. Now, while it's chewing through, and I need to break focus on the window for a second. There we go. What we're also going to do is we're going to go back out to the main forms because we're going to look at another file that's really quite interesting. And it's something that you really want to have, um, especially if you are doing this as a series. So let's see if we can find it. It should be towards the top. Sky Toolbox, Tissue Paper Respawn Ships, Custom Models, Quality Models. A lot of this stuff is already included in the AAA mod pack. Um, so you don't... Custom medical room, custom cargo ships, sound converter, gray background. Ah, SE customizer. So <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to open up, go to the GitHub, and you're going to download it. All right, SE customizer... Basically, what it lets you do is what we're going to use it for is the weld grind time modifier. Ah, we're loaded in. Perfect. And what we should see is that we have the blocks available, the custom blocks, like the walls. Open up the, the expanded G menu. You can see all of the mod blocks have been successfully added to the game. Nice. All right. So now let's exit out of this. I don't want to save it. I didn't do anything in the world. Let's exit out to Windows. Yes, perfect. Okay, now I've already installed SE Customizer on my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Program Files. No, oh, wrong Program Files. Steam. Steam Apps. Common. Space Engineers. Remember where I told you do not install this? Content. Uh, data. Yes. And you should see right here, SE Customizer. We're going to open that up. Okay. We're going to click on Tweaks and then Construction Speed Modifier. And I'm going to tell it to increase everything by four times. And now it's saved. And what I should see when I load back into Space Engineers is that my welded build times will be significantly shorter. And the reason I do that is because there's a very limited amount of time that I have to record. And I need to make sure that, you know, I'm actually doing things. And you guys don't need to see me welding all day. And it makes it a lot easier to cut out that welding time if I have that turned on. Yes, it's a little cheaty. I know. But we have to make some sacrifices to my ability to being able to get videos out vaguely on time for you guys. So we're going to load back in. 
It's going to take a couple minutes because it's Space Engineers, of course. Now, so that's the basics of how to install mods. Right now, nothing's that complicated, okay? And you can change a lot of stuff in this folder, by the way, in the QBlocks file. Um, we could go through everything, but I'll leave that up to you guys to hunt through it and figure out what everything does and kind of how everything works and, you know, what the environment variables do and, you know, global events and all that sort of stuff. Scenarios file. Just for right now, let's leave it at the point where we can say, you know, we can now edit our build times. Sorry about that. We can edit the build times. We can edit our... And we can add mods to the game that have cool new blocks. And none of these mods really add a lot of usable tools yet. No new systems, machines, stuff like that. We're not quite to the point where Minecraft modding is. But that we've been told that that'll be coming once we get a scripting engine that the mods can use. So we should see is if I switch back over to here, we have a much faster weld time on everything. And that's wicked helpful to me. So this should look pretty familiar if you watch my Space Engineer videos. If you're watching this video, you probably do. Uh, this is what we worked on last episode. So anyways, we are done with this for now. I want to thank you guys for watching. I also want to apologize for the somewhat strange video resolution size for this, uh, the strange resolution on this video. There's not much I can really do about it because of recording my desktop itself. So this has been Mr. Kassarian. I want to thank you guys for watching. And yeah, happy mining, guys.